Jyotindra Nath Dixit the 8th of January 1936 to the 3rd of January 2005 was an Indian diplomat who has served as foreign secretary 1991 to 1994 the top bureaucrat in the Ministry of External Affairs At the time of his death he was the National Security Advisor India to the Prime Minister Manmohan Singh and is most remembered for his role as a negotiator in disputes with Pakistan and China Early life and education Born in Chennai, then known as Madras, to famous Malayali writer Munshi Paramu Pillai and Retnamayi Devi. He got his surname, Dixit, from his stepfather Sitaram Dixit, a freedom fighter and journalist. He did his schooling in central India, Rajasthan and Delhi. Thereafter he did B.A. Honours degree in Philosophy, Economics and Political Science the Zakir Hussain College University of Delhi 1952 batch. Then he did his Masters in International Law and International Relations from Delhi University, and pursued studies for doctoral degree at the Indian School of International Studies, now part of Jawaharlal Nehru University. Topic: Career. He joined the Indian Foreign Service in 1958 and served in Vienna, Austria. Became India's Deputy High Commissioner to Bangladesh, 1971 to 74, after its liberation. Subsequently, he served as Deputy Chief of Mission at the embassies in Tokyo and Washington, followed by Ambassador in Chile, Mexico 1960-1961 Third Secretary, Japan, Australia, Afghanistan 1980-85, High Commissioner Sri Lanka 1985-89 and Pakistan 1989-91. He was Chief Administrator of Indian Aid in Bhutan. He later served as the Indian Foreign Secretary from 1991 and ultimately retired from government service in 1994. He was also a representative of India to the UN, UNIDO, UNESCO, ILO and Non-Aligned Movement He was a member of the first National Security Advisory Board. He was also the author of several books. He was the High Commissioner in Colombo in 1987 when India signed an accord with Sri Lanka government and deployed of the Indian Peacekeeping Force IPKF to the Tamil area in the island nation at the height of ethnic crisis. He succeeded to the post of the National Security Advisor in 2004. And his columns on international and regional affairs, appeared regularly in various publications including Outlook and Indian Express and remained a visiting lecturer at many educational institutions. Personal life and death J. N. Dixit, died on 3 January 2005, in New Delhi, after suffering a heart attack. He was married to Vijaya Lakshmi Dixit and had five children, Ashok Dixit married to Manda Dixit, Rahul Dixit married to Rupa Dixit, Abba Dixit married V. B. Anand Davla, Dipa Dixit married to Rajiv Shakur and Dhruv Dixit. His grandchildren are Sagamitra Dixit, Sumiran and Sagiri Dixit, Jaydev and Abhishek Davla and Vasudha Shakur. He married a second time. He was the first national security advisor who died in office. <laughs> Awards and honours India's second highest civilian award, the Padma Vibhushan, was posthumously conferred on J. N. Dixit in 2005. Works Self in Autumn, 1982 collection of poems Anatomy of a Flawed Inheritance, a survey of Indo-Pak relations 1970–94, Konark Publishers, 1995 my South Block Years, UBS Publi Assignment Colombo, Konark Publishers, 1997. Across Borders, 50 Years of India's Foreign Policy, Picas Publishers, 1998. Liberation and Beyond, Indo-Bangladesh Relations 1971-99, Konark Publishers, 1999. An Afghan, Diary Zahir Shah to Taliban, Konark Publishers, 2000. Indian Foreign Policies and Its Neighbors, Gyan Books, New Delhi, 2001. ISBN 81-212-0726-6. India's Foreign Policy 
Challenge of Terrorism Fashioning Interstate Equations, by Gyan Books, 2003. ISBN 81-212-0785-1 External Affairs. Rowley Books, 2003. ISBN 81-7436-264-9 Indian Foreign Service, History and Challenge. Konark Publishers, 2005. ISBN 81-220-0694-9。See also National Security Council。